last day uh, we have been discussing the projective technique uh, that means the subject is asked to project his uh, desires feeling motives etc to the etc to the stimuli or the stimulus presented to the presented to the subject here it is an indirect method for assessing then in their method for uh, assessing the personality characteristics of the individual mm, and this uh, mecha and this uh, technique is based on the uh, the uh, technique is based on the uh, uh, psychological uh, method of uh, different uh, psychological methods of uh, projection projecting projecting the individual is projecting his uh, uh, behavior okay so this is very important as far as the uh, as far as the assessment technique is concerned because in many situation the person may not reveal the real personality trait to the psychologist clinical psychologist uh in such a situation uh this method is very important and overall uh the a, a psychologist can overcome the basic limitation of the personality element or direct method for assessing direct method for assessing the personality characteristics okay <clears throat> So in uh, this uh, method, we have discussed uh, two uh, major methods. That is uh, Rorschach's blood test, a very important uh, clinical diagnostics method for assessing the personality trait or psychopathological characteristics of the. Psychological, psychological characteristics of uh, uh, patient. This is uh, especially used in differentiating uh, certain um, certain uh, differentiating or understanding certain psychological disorders uh, with some psychotic features or. Can be used to differentiate, mainly differentiate personality disorder, personality disorder, or some uh, psychotic uh, disorder. Okay, <clears throat> but it's a uh, uh, interpretation, scoring, uh, etc., are very lengthy and complex in its uh, nature, as we discuss or as you see in uh, last day. Uh, uh, but uh, this is very effective for assessing the personality characteristics. Okay. <clears throat> mm, there are many methods as we discussed. There are many methods, but uh, uh, we discussed the Exness Comprehensive System for assessing the personality. Other methods. Uh, other methods are using for as uh, for interpretation uh, and these methods use another way or are different from what uh, Exner described or discussed for interpreting uh, the response made by the subject and this interpretative skills are also uh, also revised many times or adding or uh, omitting certain characteristics for uh, this uh, interpretation okay uh, but uh, 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 from this uh, from this uh, uh, interpretation of the Rorschach uh, in blood test first of all the 
psychologist has to uh, psychologist has to understand the validity of the response made by the um, response made by the subject validity can be uh, discussed in terms of number of response or lambda uh, that is calculated from the uh, response made by the subject if number of responses are less than 14 uh, this uh, uh, psychodiagnostic method or uh, Rorschach, uh, uh, Rorschach technique is considered invalid if in certain situation uh, in certain situation the subject made or subject gives only few, very few responses uh, in that, uh, uh, we know that we have, uh, or in uh, this test, there are 10 cards. So at least uh, one or two responses from each card is necessary for finding it as a valid test for assessing the personality. And another criteria is the lambda. Lambda is sum of F response divided by sum of non F response. How many form response form that we have discussed last day? How many form responses made by the subject? Or it is the lambda is the proportion of F response to non F responses. Okay, so based on these three these two characteristics. And the lambda is also considered invalid if it is, if this calculated lambda is greater than 1.2, which is considered invalid. Or if, if uh, response is 70, so less than 70, and lambda is greater than 1.2, then this uh, this uh, response are made or considered invalid. Okay, first of all, checking the validity of the response made by the validity of the response given by the subject. Then uh, different uh, indices or the different uh, uh, personality characteristics are being computed using different uh, like stress tolerance or oh, this stress tolerance into uh, can be uh, can be divided into two stress tolerance for the current situation stress tolerance for a current situation and the stress tolerance as a trait uh, whether the subject can uh, uh, can tolerate the current stress he or she is facing or stress tolerance as a trait how far that trait is evidenced or how far that trait is present in subject subject's personality okay so uh, sometimes the person may have uh, currently tolerate this stress uh, can uh, can be tolerate stress, but there is no uh, higher uh, types of stress tolerance. Okay, this coping, uh, this coping is very important for uh, assessing the current situation, and also this is uh, this is very important for uh, for the uh, consideration of the further management of the case because uh, the coping scale is very important as far as a uh, uh, person with a psychological disorder how far the every subject is how far the patient is able to hope the situation uh, he is facing uh, and the, uh, in some situation the in, in certain case situation may cause the person to believe in a particular or how far the individual is able how far the patient is able to cope with the present situation that is very important okay so uh, that is why uh, that is why uh, two types of uh, stress tolerance stress tolerance as an uh, as a situational uh, 
motivational trait and as a uh, as a personality trait. Okay. Then the personality personality style personality style is also uh, important. And uh, here is uh, the um, uh, formula for calculating the personality style. Hoping results is another uh, characteristics or another indicator that is being assessed uh, through this uh, technique uh, uh, using this uh, different formula. Uh, like uh, form responses, movement responses, sister responses, structure, color mimi, etc. Okay. Then information processing, cognitive initiative, and complexity is very important. Uh, psychological problem, especially uh, some problem having the psychotic disorder or cognitive impairment or uh, uh, symptoms involved, thought impairment can be uh, easily understand by this indices in uh, this index this cognitive initiative and uh, complexity uh, uh, how far the the person process the information uh, from this uh, situation in a complex uh, manner or uh, the way the person where the patient takes some initiative to process this information that is also important for understanding the current situation of the person as well as this further manage okay organizational activity this is very important for understanding the impulsive decision and effortful process of processing of social problem uh, we have discussed all, all this uh, not in detail but uh, <coughs> uh, uh, another uh, in this is uh, cognitive rigidity and uh, dysfunction. Uh, whether the pain is uh, uh, normal in its uh, uh, cognitive rigidity, or uh, is there any uh, trait, compulsive trait is uh, uh, present that cause some problem in cognitive dysfunction or cognitive rigidity uh, that can be assessed by understanding or by knowing this. Uh, uh, index then conventionality uh, that is that indicate whether the patient is under socialized or socialized etc or socialized or highly socialized etc whether the patient follows some conventional uh, conventional uh, follow some conventional uh, thought or conventional behavior or uh, in his uh, social interaction or in his uh, thought process, etc. Okay, uh, so conventionality is very important to know his personality right, uh, especially the introverted or extroverted, uh, etc. Then the perceptual accuracy this is very important for knowing knowing the person's current cognitive environment whether the cognitive environment or psychotic features whether the person is able to uh, whether the person is able to understand his uh, environment in a uh, in a uh, real way or how the individual perceive the social situation it is very important to understand the um, psychotic whether the patient is living in uh, reality or not there are some formula for understanding uh, this uh, reality perceptual accuracy especially uh, this uh, form responses uh then uh, form responses so that uh, that indicate the conventional or confronting commitment uh, uh emotional experience reality testing etc okay x response um, uh, then thought disorder is another index uh, that can be 
and can be assessed through this Koshak uh, in uh, low uh, test. Here, ideation can be calculated using the formulas given here, and uh, the affect affect means what? In psychology, affect means psychologically affected. That is the meaning, the sir. No, 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 no. Psychologically, everything is psychologically affected. Affect means oh, this is very basic. Uh, notion of the psychology when we understand the psychology or when we discuss the psychology there are three elements a b c they are important here what is uh, what does it uh, indicate what we see means what we perceive that is different from uh, that is different from affect this is not our there are three elements in understanding psychological characteristics. Basically, there are three elements. They are known as A, B, C of psychology. What are these uh, A, B, and C? In every A notion, or uh, when we explain uh, one term, not one term, when we explain certain uh, trait or behavior, uh, we will discuss the ABC behind this. Okay, uh, another response is uh, immediately express the emotion or behavior. Whether it is emotion or behavior. Yabila, I don't know whether, it is, uh, whether I spell this correct or not. Is it uh, emotion or behavior? Affect means emotion or behavior. A means what? B means what? C means what? There are A, B, C. A. I think you have you have studied it in your first year. Psychology. Uh, we we start psychology from discussing the A, B, C, or we will discuss this A, B, C uh, as uh, part of uh, psychology. Today. A means A means suffered. B that is anybody B means behavior. Yeah, behavior. Then yeah, okay. C to affect behavior. C means uh, cognition. C means what? Yeah, cognition. Okay. Affect behavior or cognition. In this term, affect means we have behavior that is expressed behavior, or whether it is out or forward. Then we have cognition, and we have one more that is affect. What does it mean? Affect means we have hmm? <laughs> we have feelings or emotions. Hmm? Or any psychological notion can be explained in terms of this A, B, C. A means affect or emotion. B means behavior. And C means cognition. Uh, for example, while we are interacting in this, through this session, there are these three elements are working. Okay. You have some kind of feeling, maybe very boring feeling. Uh, when, uh, when you are attending this uh, class to this platform, it is a feeling, uh, or you may have a very pleasant feeling for understanding new information in psychology, especially the um, uh, uh, psychological psychological information related to psych diagnosing the psychological patient. Okay, so you may have a better feel, better positive feeling, or you may have negative feeling in this uh, interaction or in this uh, class. You are, you also, you also express, or I also express some kind of uh, behavior. Behavior means any activity which manifests the, which manifests the life. Any activity. Now you are uh, sitting. 
and you are also sitting and uh, sitting and uh, I am communicating with you, you are also communicating uh, uh, with me in certain situations. Oh, there are a behavior, some kind of activities are going between two people and me. Okay, that's a kind of behavior and also cognition. You try to understand what I communicate with you or you try to understand what I have written in this slide. So there is a there, there is a uh, there are some cognitive process that is going on in this class. Okay, in this way we can understand the ABC of any psychological uh, psychological uh, behavior or any psychological notion. Okay, so don't uh, forget these three elements that is very essential as far as psychology is concerned. I think you have heard this or you have learned this uh, ABC in your first year class. So you might have, uh, might have forgot. Okay, so A means affect or feeling component, B means behavioral component, and C means cognitive component. These are very uh, these are very important as far as discussing and understanding anything in psychology. Okay. So where we ah yeah. So affect uh, is affect is this uh, emotion uh, display how this uh, person is displaying emotion or how the individual is able to control his emotion or how the patient seek uh, some emotional stimulation or how he avoid or in what way he avoid the emotional stimuli that can be that can be assessed by understanding the affect uh, affect indices or affect index from the uh, from the response given by the subject okay then the self perception one's own image or we can say it in terms of egocentrism whether the uh, person is self-centered or how ex sorry the extent to which the right of narcissism present in the individual or esteem self-esteem self-concept uh, uh, etc that is self person how the person uh, how the person see himself or how he form impression of himself, how the patient form the impression of himself, that is a self-perception or self-image. <coughs> self, uh, and the oppositionality, that is, a, uh, that is, a, an, uh, that is a, the attitude against the uh, current uh, social situation. Or this is a right that indicates the need for independence or oppositionality, how the patient opposing the social norm or how he tries to oppose with the authority in his home or in his uh, uh, educational environment or working environment, how he, uh, how he opposed with the parents or <clears throat> how he opposed with the senior personnel in his uh, working situation. So this is a possible anti-authoritarian attitude and uh, this uh, response is clearly evidenced in white space response as we discussed uh, last day. There are some responses in which white space is included. So encoding that uh, type of response is accompanied by small letter S. Okay, there, there may be WS that means all response in all responses the white space is also included that we have already discussed so uh, this uh, from all this uh, understanding uh, this uh, indices like uh, s con that is suicidal potentiality especially evidenced in or especially prevalent in, in certain situations like uh, a person with uh, some depressive features or person uh, in a in a mood uh, disorder 
Uh, or uh, sometimes uh, mood is social and he may be presently in currently in uh, depressed mood or uh, this uh, manic state so high suicide potentiality or environmental suicidal suicidal uh, uh, trait or suicidal tendency may evidence due to the situation due to the environment then depression deaths uh, and this uh, <laughs> depression index is calculated by uh, definitive uh, certain uh, features that we discussed uh, uh, earlier. And the schizophrenic index, that are uh, these uh, features for psychotic, is, uh, psychotic is evidenced in patient's response or coping deficit index. Coping deficit, that is poor social uh, relationship poor coping resources or poor coping abilities. Then another criteria that is for OCD or OCP. OCD means what? OCD means? Obsessive compulsive disorder. Then OCPD, OCPD. OCPD. Conducting. Conducting what? OCPD, OCD and OCPD. Obsessive compulsive personality disorder. Okay. Obsessive compulsive personality disorder. So uh, by this uh, uh, obvious uh, indices, uh, we can understand whether the person is having the problem of psychological problem of obsessive compulsive disorder or personality trait of obsessive compulsive feature. Hmm? Whether this uh, whether this uh, current behavior is due to behavior uh, sorry uh, is due to disorder or question then hyper vigilance indexes uh, how far the person is uh, vigilant about the current situation or the environment he may avoid social relationship because he is not resting others or he may form very suspicious attitude towards other person inside or outside the family environment which indicate the paranoid feature paranoia or suspiciousness okay so these are the indices that can be produced the evidence to this interpretation of the Rorschach in broad test Suicidal potential, depressive induction, schizophrenia, coping, reduce it, OB, OC, commercy features, and hyper vigilance. From this, we can understand uh, the uh, the problem of the problem of the individual. Okay, so this uh, Rorschach is very as an important test, but it is also very uh, this going and. Uh, Interpretation is very mm, difficult task or very laborious task as far as the psychologists are uh, concerned. And but uh, psychologists cannot, uh, uh, in certain situations, this test is very important. You cannot assess a person without judging this uh, this personality in indices. Okay. Then other another test we discussed the last day is about the thematic perception test (TAT). That is also uh, in the, uh, in the interpretation of this test is also very uh, comparatively very difficult. Or as compared to the personality inventory, this is very not uh, easy. Here we discuss, we, we analyze the and for uh, anal analyzing the forms and also the content that is. Uh, narrated in uh, narrated in the story by the fish story is uh, assessing the story or understanding the story and also we can judge the personality of a person here need is important or certain defense mechanism are important for understanding the person needs uh, that is proposed needs uh, that is proposed by the that is proposed by Henry Murray how these needs are in relation with the environment or there is a need press interaction this need press interaction is evidence 
in the analysis of the thematic of perception. This test is very old. This test is also very important for understanding the uh, the uh, conflict uh, conflict within the individual. How the, or how the conflict leads to a psychological problem present. Okay. And so uh, uh, we have uh, we have this uh, Indian adaptation for this test PAT, and in India this PAT is uh, uh, adapted by uh, in India this uh, test is uh, adapted by as we see uh, last year that is. Uh, <coughs> Uh, oh, this uh, and this test is also having its uh, uh, children's uh, version it is known as CA okay these two important tests that we have discussed uh, last day another important uh, person uh, I think uh, up to here we discussed up to these uh, two methods Roshak uh, test and DAT Another uh, important uh, projective technique for assessing the personality is picture frustration test or commonly known as PF test. It was uh, developed by Rosen's Wake. Rosen's and uh, the main theme of this test is frustration and aggression. There is a theory in psychology that connect this frustration and aggression. Which theory? In personality, there is a theory. Which theory? Or in aggression? In social psychology, I think you have studied this theory. Which theory? This theory states that frustration leads to aggression. Anybody? Yes, theory proposed by Dollard and Miller. They uh, argue that frustration leads to the aggression. Okay, okay. Frustration and aggression are the main focus of uh, this uh, picture frustration test or PF study. Picture frustration study, PF study, hmm? PF study or picture frustration test. Here <clears throat> there are series of twenty-four cartoons, and in each cartoon or the picture portraying two person in a frustrating situation one person frustrate another or one person calls attention to a frustration frustrating condition i will show the uh, picture i have the, i have the picture here and uh, also uh, uh, you can see in uh, slide <coughs> Each picture contains two speech balloons, like a cartoon, a filled one that is for frustrator or in uh, this test uh, that uh, character is known as antagonist, and a blank speech balloon that is for frustrated person known as protagonist. I will show this picture when you can get Okay. Here in this picture, there are two persons. Here uh, there are uh, two, mainly two, two person in car. There are two person, and the, uh, one person is uh, walking along the road. So two speech balloons are here, like a cartoon. Uh, one uh, this space is for, or one speech balloon in, in which the person or the uh, or the frustrated for this uh, person who frustrated the other person. Here, this uh, uh, here this uh, in speech balloon there is a conversation. Here, this person or the driver says that I am very sorry we splashed we were talking just now, though we try hard to avoid the party. Okay, this is a frustrating situation. So, how the frustrated person react in this situation? That can be, and uh, that can be right by the person here. That can be right by the uh, 
that is supposed to be right here by the subject. Okay, in this uh, blank speech below. Okay, so to uh, a, a, a picture that contain a frustrating situation. As a frustrator who frustrate another person or antagonist and a frustrated person or protagonist. So the protagonist is considered as the subject in this situation or the patient in the clinical situation. And this patient is, or the subject is asked to fill in the blank, fill in the blank balloon with his response to such a frustrated situation. So by understanding this response, or by analyzing the response, uh, psychologists they get the personality, some personality trait or personality characteristics of the subject. Okay, that is picture frustration. A frustrating situation in which one person frustrated the another person and uh, the subject is uh, in uh, in the position of the another person or in the po position of the frustrated person. He is asked to respond, uh, respond in that uh, blank balloon as uh, we have seen now. Okay. So this uh, picture frustration study or PF test is uh, adapted in Indian situation by Uday Parikant or uh, Sensei. I, I have very, uh, uh, so, uh, sorry, I, I have done my uh, PG post graduation uh, dissertation on this, using this uh, picture frustration. I collected uh, this uh, response from, I think, uh, 200. Uh, sample 200 person uh, attending one clinic and uh, try to understand the personality structure of uh, that person, that patient with the different psychological characteristics. I know this uh, uh, test, uh, uh, sorry, I, I was familiar with the test uh, uh, by the PG post graduation studies. Okay, so here the uh, response response given by the subject can be analyzed by type and direction of aggression. As we discussed, uh, this is based on frustration and aggression. There is a frustrating situation and in that frustrating situation, the subject or the person or the patient may show some kind of aggression. So frustration that leads to aggression and this uh, response uh, this uh, uh, response can be analyzed the type of aggression the individual type of aggression the person shows the patient or the subject shows to the frustrated situation or direction of aggression how he or how the subject directs his aggression to another person in this frustrating situation. Okay. So uh, uh, here will be a response in this uh, in this uh, blank space. The subject will write a response, and this uh, response can be analyzed. The uh, uh, can be analyzed in two ways. That is, uh, by understanding the type of aggression and the direction of aggression to this frustrating patient. Or in this situation, in this picture, we can say that how or in what way he responds, the person, the subject responds to such a frustrating condition. Here, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this driver, uh, even though he tried to avoid this uh, party, uh, this by his mistake, maybe by his mistake, by the driver's mistake, uh, uh, this, uh, he splashed the body to his, uh, uh, or this blood to this clothing of this person. Okay, so that is the situation and how he responds to this situation. That is, uh, can be analyzed in two ways, type of aggression and uh, direction of aggression. Okay.
so uh, in this study uh, this uh, we can analyze this uh, response in two ways so what will be your response in such a situation for example if a driver says he is very sorry uh, for uh, splashing for splash your cloth thing uh, he say even though he try to avoid this until it happens what will be your response how you respond in such a situation hello what will be your response in this situation the situation shown in this picture how do you respond how will you respond in such a situation hello no response even at or yes maybe came angry that is uh, is the response by i mean priya okay then uh, another uh, two figure two uh, picture cartoons uh, among this 24 uh, picture yes another situation this uh, driver says i am sorry that uh, yes that we have already discussed another situation you are antique uh, georgian furniture might be expensive but it is bloody uncomfortable mm -hmm. another uh, situation a person uh, frustrating the other uh, the other person by saying uh, like this okay or uh, we can analyze this uh, 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 this response in uh, in two ways uh, by understanding the type of aggression and the direction of aggression in uh, type of aggression there are in type of aggression there are three three categories obstacle dominance ego defensive and need persistence obstacle dominance means emphasizing on frustrating objects obstacle is the dominate obstacle is dominating in the response made by the frustrated force Uh, obstacle there are some uh, obstacles uh, in this frustrated situation and its response mainly focusing on focusing on dominating this right no sorry this characteristics ego defensive means in uh, in uh, type of aggression protection of the frustrated person the frustrated person uh, expressing his uh, his uh, reaction by protecting his knee that is ego protection need persistence means uh, the person express a constructive solution in such a frustrated situation is uh, or his response indicating a solution for the problematic situation that is means so this uh, response may be with the obstacle dominance or ego defensive or with the some solution to the problem or there is some need is persisting in the response made by the object that is three type of aggression made by the made by this uh, frustrated person okay maybe uh, or frustrating object dominating the frustrating object or protecting the self of the person or constructive solution to the problem then direction of aggression direction of aggression there are two types of direction either the person may uh, shows the uh, uh, shows the uh, aggression towards the environment towards the other person towards the frustrated frustrating person or he may directing his aggression towards himself towards oneself if it is towards the external characteristics external environment or external force then it is known, known as extra aggression in 
Uh, on the other hand, if it is towards oneself, it is known as intragressive or turned off in an attempt to gloss over or evade the solution. If the person is uh, suggesting some solution in the frustrating situation, it may gloss over, sorry, it may become intragressive. So there are two uh, directions, uh, external or extra aggressive or internal or internal. So by understanding these response in terms of type and direction, we can understand some personality trait of the person. Firstly, this uh, uh, personality trait is related to frustration. Hmm? So that is, uh, that is the main concern of this uh, for this using this feature frustration study or feature frustration test. In uh, its Indian adaptation, it is uh, developed by the Perry and Rosen's <coughs> way. Okay. Uh, so this, uh, who, some, some, here uh, somebody uh, made the response like angry. It is not the response. You have to make the uh, make uh, the response in a sentence. I may became angry by or in what way you show the angry or uh, in in, uh, in uh, by which expression by which expression you you show the uh, aggressive tendencies towards the uh, towards this uh, towards the other person. That is it. So you have to write, you have to write in sentence how you respond in not uh, like uh, uh, angry. You became angry or in what way or in which, uh, uh, by showing which uh, reaction you express in this uh, anger. That is to be uh, analyzed through this test, through this uh, picture frustration test. Okay. So this is also very important for understanding this uh, conflict and the frustration of the person that leads to some psychological problem or it, it can be used for this uh, normal person having some mild psychological problem or requiring uh, the uh, mild psychological problem in terms of the emotional expression or social uh, interaction. Uh, or uh, he requires some uh, some sort of counseling for managing himself in such a situation. This is an interpersonal situation. In all this picture, an interpersonal situation is given. And how you react in such a situation that is very important. Or how you show this or how you react to the frustrated situation is very important. By knowing this frustration, by knowing this uh, reaction by knowing the reaction of the person we can understand the personality characteristics okay that is pf study picture frustration study another projective test here it is also projective in its nature because the subject projecting his frustration and aggression in the sentence that is why it is known as it's a frustration study or peace. Okay. Another test, I think you have done this test in your practical. No, sir. No, okay. This test for measuring intelligence in your practical, it can be also used as uh, for assessing the personality. Okay. So another test, another projective test. It is known as uh, draw a person test or draw a man test. It was developed uh, by Makovar in 1948, uh, in which uh, uh, the subject is given one blank sheet of paper and pencil and asked to draw a person. That's uh, after completing the first drawing, he is Asked again, asked to draw another person of the opposite. If the person draws the male person, 
if the subject uh, already known the main person, he is asked to draw a person, uh, draw a female person. Okay. Finally, uh, he is asked to make a story about the person as if he were a character in a novel or play. Okay, this is the procedure for draw a person for understanding the person. Not in, not to understand this. Uh, what? Not to understand uh, intelligence. Okay. So draw a person test. Uh, I will show some uh, picture for this. This is uh, some picture drawn by some. Children four years and three months, six years and three months. Can I is used for assessing the personality in clinical setting? Okay, and uh, now this is the picture. Can you see? I don't know whether you can see or not. Hmm? Okay, this is the picture. For uh, drawing of uh, some children. Okay. This is what the picture uh, drawn in uh, hospital. Okay, this is uh, another uh, picture. Can you see? Okay. So this uh, test uh, as an intelligence test or say personality test as an intelligence test and personality test uh, we can uh, understand the personality characteristics or intellectual capacity of the children by scoring and uh, there are different criteria for uh, scoring okay like uh, for uh, uh, measuring the uh, for measuring this uh, for measuring the intelligence there are some criteria uh, for uh, understand how the person draws each part of the each part in this uh, drawing so he drawn this for example i then eyebrows, uh, eyelids, uh, then forehead, forehead uh, then ear, etc. Okay, so every part of the uh, drawn picture is assessed by using some norms and some scores are given to uh, each. And by <coughs> scoring, by getting this uh, total or sum of the score we can assess the personality so we can assess the intellectual capacity by understanding this in by understanding its quantitative uh, way the child has drawn this picture we can understand this uh, uh, intellectual capacity as well as this uh, personality capacity by qualitatively assessing some features or some parts drawn in this, uh, drawn in the picture. For example, some interpretation, omission of facial features that indicate evasive characteristics about highly conflictual interpersonal relationship. This test is commonly used for children or to understand the personality of uh, uh, personal interest. Hmm? So if he uh, omitted the facial features, he indicate interpersonal, conflictual interpersonal relationship, conflict with parents or conflict with the siblings or conflict with uh, any other authoritative person in his uh, life. Example, teachers. Okay. So, omission of facial features. Another interpretation for this uh, picture in uh, draw a person test is graphic emphasis of neck. Some children may show the picture by emphasizing or by giving more emphasis on the portion of the neck. It's 
suggests the disturbance about the lack of control or lack of control over impulse or he may be some impulsive or he may be a personality with some impulsive characters if a child uh, shows uh, emphasis on drawing the portion of the neck in his speech okay there is another uh, one interpretation for this qualitative analysis of this uh, picture then disproportionately large herd it indicate preoccupation with the herd day or in some cases it indicates some organic brain disease very, very uh, rarely we can see this uh, interpretation or disproportionately large herd or if a person is uh, having some problem it may be due to some um, psychosomatic uh, issues the child may often complains about the headache especially when he is ready to go for school okay so this uh, disproportionately large head shows or indicating may indicate this is not uh, this is not uh, sure in all in the case of all children all these tests all these projective tests are uh, are interpreting with uh, some other important clues rather than the information from this psychodiagnostic method. Okay, and the uh, psychologist should uh, take some cogents while interpreting this test. You cannot interpret only on the basis of this, uh, and this uh, only on the basis of the response made by the such other characteristics. He obtained when he is interacting with or when he uh, takes some initial information or when he is uh, getting some information as part of the mental status examination he has to consider all this information while interpreting the response made through this projective test you cannot uh, you cannot solely is only uh, conforming or is only uh, confined only to uh, this response made through the projective test okay so this test is uh, also very important for understanding the personality and intellectual curves. commonly this is used in clinical setting for assessing the intellectual capacity of the children for intellectual capacity and you might have you, you you will familiar when doing this uh, right okay i will show i don't know whether you can see can you see this uh, criteria hello hello yes sir, yes, sir. not clear but what not clear sir not clear okay 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 we'll show you this uh, uh these are these uh, criteria for uh, giving a scores to each part of this toy okay anyway i think you will do it in your as part of your try i don't know uh, whether uh, practical session include this test okay so uh, that is uh, another important test draw a person test or draw a man test it was developed by Markovar and in India its adaptation is made by Dr. Pramila Patel we are using the adapted version of Markovar test by Pramila Patel and he developed a criteria for uh, um, for assessing the intellectual capacity for Indian, Indian children. Okay, we are using this uh, Indian version, version developed by uh, Premi Lapat. Okay. Another test that is sentence completion test. In this test, a number of stem consisting of words are presented the task for the subject is to provide an ending to this 
incomplete sentence. It reflects the motivation, conflict, desire, attitude, feeling, etc. of the post. Okay. These are some items included in incompleted sentence, sorry, in, in sentence completion test. For example, one item, my father. Yes. It is a blank space. The subject is asked to fill this blank space. Hmm? Um, subject can fill this uh, sentence in any way he likes without uh, without uh, thinking much. Okay, so it is asked to fill this uh, sentence hmm? by the first response that comes to his mind. My father is, for example, is very loving person or he is, my father is very affectionate to me. Then next, another item for this test is my greatest fear is or I am proud of the best thing about my mother is etc. In this test I think there are total of 20 items rotor developed this test and uh, the person, uh, the individual has to uh, complete this sentence, complete this incomplete sentence or he has to uh, in this term that is given as the item here that is uh, sentence completion test so uh, as uh, uh, other <coughs> project test by analyzing the response made by the subject psychologists can understand some motivation conflict feelings attitude of the subject of this. this is normally this is commonly used for testing or assessing the personality of the uh, normal person not the person with the much psychopathological characteristics but we can also use but we cannot use uh, this test for a uh, person with uh, uh, highly psychotic syndrome for example we cannot use uh, this uh, sentence combination test with a person having delusion disorder or uh, type of schizophrenic or PTSD or uh, this person having personality disorder. Personality disorder of person uh, sometimes may may give fake answer. For example, if a person is having antisocial personality or um, Sir, sentence completion test is a semi-projective, right? Okay. What is the meaning of that semi-projective? Semi-projective, that means, uh, right, actually, it's also a projective test, but uh, the, uh, this uh, stimuli is semi-structured, like what we see in the case of the uh, sentence completion here, here uh, this uh, response, sorry, the stimulus is given in its uh, semi-structured, uh, in a semi-structured way. That means the subject has to, to make or complete the sentence or complete the pattern. You cannot uh, go beyond the Term. It be it, it will be contained. It will be close to the stem that is given as part of the test. Okay, that is uh, why it is known as semi-projective, projective. But the uh, item or similar is structured uh, in a, in a, in a semi uh, in a uh, in a uh, halfway hmm? or some passionately it is that okay sir thank you sir okay okay sir okay. so there are uh, how many tests we have discussed what are the tests first one we discussed first one we discussed in so in project test first one is we discussed which test we discussed inglot test rorschach yes. inglot test, Inglo test. Hmm? There are many other Inglo tests. Okay, actually, we are not a discuss. Uh, Rorschach Inglo test, 
then uh, then we discuss thematic perception that's second then third we discuss what was the third test after the at we discuss <laughs> after the at picture uh, picture frustration yeah. what <laughs> frustration test yeah picture frustration pf picture frustration for pf study picture frustration study hmm. then pro a person and sentence completion sentence completion these are the major five projective tests there are many other from the time of the young itself uh, there are projective test psychologists that they are used for assessing the personality but we have not discussed uh, this test in uh, detail okay so let us uh, discuss about so how many tests in total we have discussed so far how many personality inventory how many personality inventory do you remember that the personality inventory we discussed last classes hmm? okay or uh, tell any one personality inventory we discussed no idea not remembering any one personality inventory we discussed any one hello 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 okay minnesota multifacet personality inventory ah, minnesota multifacet personality inventory then minnesota multifacet 16 pf multi axial sorry million multi axial then neo personality inventory yeah, neo personality inventory then okay so uh, there are uh, many personality inventory and uh, project test and uh, we can discuss this uh, major criticism of this uh, personality sorry this project test that we discussed now first one this analysis of this technique is rooted in one or the other kind of psychodynamic thing all this projective test are based on the psychodynamic theory proposed by different psychologists okay what are the major psychodynamic theoreticians what do you mean by psychodynamic theory hey you have one personality purpose or what are the or who are the subjects who developed some psychodynamic theory the psychodynamic uh, okay uh, wow what do you mean by psychodynamic theory or how it differ from the freudian theory freudian theory is known as freudian theory is known as this psychodynamic theory or behavioristic theory no answer hmm? and question is freud developed theory a particular theory on personality and this can be consider freudian theory as psychodynamic or not is it psychodynamic yes Okay, then what is psychodynamic? What what is psychodynamic and what is the uh, what is the name that we sorry oh, we we ah yeah we call for uh, Freudian theory. For what are the other psychodynamic theoretician than Sigmund Freud? Only Freudian theory. Erikson's psychosocial theory. What is? Erikson's psychosocial. Ah, Erikson psychodynamic theory. Then, what are the other theoreticians who develop this psychodynamic theory? Erikson. 
after Floyd, who was the first to disable? Who was the first to disable? Sigmund Floyd. Floyd. Then after Floyd. Yeah. After Floyd. Carl Jung. Paolo. Paolo. Paolo is not a psycho and Paolo's theory is not psycho dynamic. Paolo is Carl Jung. Yes. Not uh, Yang, uh, Carl Gustav Jung. Okay. Yes. Jung is the Jung's theory is another psychodynamic theory. Then after Jung, there are many psychodynamic things like uh, like uh, Erickson, uh, Erickson that you have already um, called. Then uh, Erickson, then Alan Klein, then uh, Maslow, uh, then. Uh, Form, then Maslow, then uh, Jung. There are many theories. All they have developed this uh, psychodynamic theory. Here <coughs> we uh, consider or we analyze the, all the responses made by the subject in positive tests are based on any psychodynamic theory. Especially Freudian psychodynamic theory. In Freudian psychodynamic theories, this uh, defense mechanism and other characteristics, uh, other other uh, this unconscious characters that we explained or discussed in detail. Okay, so all these uh, projective tests are rooted in any in, in, in any kind of psychodynamic theory. Uh, so the uh, uh, understanding of uh, this theory, dynamic theory, in detail is uh, detail is uh, uh, requested for understanding or uh, analyzing the response of the patient. So that is uh, uh, one criticism of the theory. Uh, we can have a better understanding of psychodynamic theory. Then only we can analyze. The response to this projective technique and next uh, criticism regarding all these projective tests are interpretation of this test is a skilled job it require specialized training as i said earlier uh, in, early, in earlier class this interpretation especially in the interpretation of the uh, thematic uh, or shagging both test and the thematic perception test it requires fish test training uh, uh, then only we can uh, then only we can uh, interpret it it in very properly for example we will uh, we, uh, we will be familiarized with this uh, interpretation of the response made by person with a different type of psychological disorders. In uh, Roshak it is said that more than 500 interpretation of more than 500 uh, uh, responses or response from more than 500 person or 500 profile is uh, important for familiarizing or getting specialized or getting uh, familiarity with this uh, interpretation. So interpretation is very skilled job and it requires specialized training for understanding and interpretation of this response. It requires a specialist. There are specialist training for, as part of the course, there are specialist training for interpreting this Roshak uh, GHT in uh, MPhil course, MPhil specialist in clinical psychology. Then only we can interpret, uh, we, then only we can understand the interpretation of this, uh, uh, of this uh, uh, Rorschach blood test. Another criticism, it is having low reliability and validity. Interpretation is having low reliability and validity. What do you mean by reliability and validity? 
Hello? How many? Now only one, two, three, four. Only seven. Hmm? Okay, seven or six. What do you mean by reliability and validity? What do you mean by reliability and validity of a test? <clears throat> okay. Reliability means consistency in the score. Yes. Here, uh, another answer is how much reliable and valid it in that context. It is not a question of a particular context. Hmm? Reliability means consistency in the score, not related to context in which the test is conducted. And validity means the extent to measure, extent to a test to measure what it intends to measure or what it purpose to measure. What is the purpose of the measuring? Measuring for understanding the personality. How far, how far this purpose is uh, fully satisfied by this test? That is the question of Validity. Validity is not the judgment. Everything is judgment. But judgment with with a particular purpose. Now we are using a test. For example, we are to, uh, using a test for understanding the intellectual capacity of a student. The question is how far the test measure the, the intellectual capacity of the students in reality. That is bad. So a test should have reliability and validity. Reliability means consistency. If a person, if a person measure, uh, the, for example, if a person measure the intellectual capacity of a student now, and after two days, another psychologist measure same. Intellectual, cap intellectual capacity of that person, that student, same, uh, same student. If these two psychologists obtain more or less same score, then only we can say that there is a consistency in the score if we use that test. Means this test is this test is having this test is having reliable. Okay, so consistency reliability uh, consistency uh, or reliability and validity uh, is important validity and norms are the three three basic feature of any psychological test the study screen is not working not working means is it working now yes sir okay yes Ah, uh, oh yes. Ah, yeah. So reliability and validity is very important as far as any test is concerned. But in the case of the this projective test, the projective test that we have discussed are having with uh, low reliability and validity. That means the consistency of the interpretation, consistency of the conclusion, or consistency of the interpretation by Two psychologists are not the same, or no uh, consistency are very low. There may be disparity. There may be possibility for disparities in reaching the conclusion while using the projective test. Okay, that is the problem. And this criticism or another problem with this projective test. Uh, and uh, again, question is how far a personality is being. How far the real personality characteristics of person is being understand by this test. That is the matter of the value. So all these projective tests are having with low reliability and validity. So low reliability and validity is another limitation, another criticism of the this test. And third one, no, yeah, fourth one is. People often tend not to tend to not conform confirming instance and ignore the contradictory death. Okay, that means 
the uh, uh, the this uh, person who is undergoing uh, this test uh, may not uh, conforming to uh, conforming uh, conforming the real the instance in which the test is used or ignore if there are some uh, contradiction in the test in the uh, data so that is a another major criticism of this test all uh, there may be a limitation like this for these tests yet these tests are very popular and uh, a number of practitioners are fond of this test and they are widely using this test for assessing the personality especially in clinical testing setting these tests are very uh, very important for understanding the personality right or personality characteristics of the fish okay so there are some criticism for this test like uh, this uh, test are based on the concept of notion of the psychodynamic various psychodynamic theories and uh, interpretation is a very laborious and skilled job and it require for uh, interpretation a person with a specialized training only can can reach a uh, reach a uh, effective conclusion or valid conclusion and this to start with the law of reliability and uh, validity and uh, people people are often ten, not conforming instance and ignore the contradictory that okay with all this criticism with all this limitation people are sorry the practitioners are very fond of this test and these tests are very popular all over the world uh, in clinical setting or in understanding the personality characteristics of the individual okay so uh, these are the various uh, mm, uh, tests uh, we use in personality by summarizing this uh, personality test we can uh, conclude uh, to this session uh, this uh, will start from this uh, um, yeah we will start from this uh, second session of this psycho diagnostic in the first session we discussed the test for assessing intellectual capacity and the mental ability then another session is regarding the assessment of the personality we use different personality in uh, personality we use different uh, tests under two category inventory and projective test there are many inventories and the major that we discussed minnesota mmpi then mcmi that is melan multi clinical multi actual 16 pf neo personality inventory okay and in projective test we discuss uh, the uh, major characteristics of this uh, personality inventory are these uh, test are with uh, comparatively with uh, with uh, high um, reliability higher reliability as compared to the projective test because there are established norms for interpreting personality there are a, there will be a norm that is given in the manual for interpreting or what a particular score indicate there is a norms there is a pre planned pre planned uh, pre determined pre determined scheme for interpreting this data this data from this personality inventory uh but in projective test as uh, we discussed in projective test it is the project pro this the projection of the this is the projection of the person on to the comparatively unstructured stimuli that is presented by the psychologist or psychodiagnostician or psychometrician projective the person projects so it is not uh, easy uh, it is not uh, difficult to make a pre planned or pre determined 
predetermined norms as we have seen in Inman. Here, the person can project, the subject can project anything. Yeah? Whatever that comes to his mind, he can project anything onto this uh, stimulus. Onto this stimulus in the picture, uh, as in the case of the Rosh King Lotus. Or he can make a story based on the stimuli presented in the case of the cheat. So it is not uh, easy to make a norm for this test. That is why it requires the specialized training. Uh, the psychologist will be familiarized with all kinds of uh, all kinds of response made by person with uh, different personality characters or different psychopathological characters. Okay. And in projective test, uh, we use different types of projective test uh, based on the different categories like word association, uh, as in the case of construction test, like uh, thematic perceptions in, a, in which a story is constructed and the completion test, uh, a sentence is completed by the, completed by this, uh, Subject and expression test, like a draw a person. The person expresses personality or his intellectual through intellectual capacity through drawing. And we discussed the Rorschachian blotters, PAT, PAT, then picture frustration, picture frustration, incomplete sentence blank, and uh, draw a person. these tests? Uh, setting for understanding personality characteristics, psychopathological characteristics of the patient. Okay, and these tests are with some, this is some, that it is widely used. And uh, uh, next is other uh, part uh, in this uh, Diagnostics is neuropsychological test that we will discuss in the next. Okay, so we conclude this session. So thank you.